Hello and welcome, this is Stacker 2020 and today I'm sharing with you my latest silver haul of over one and a half kilos of crown sized world silver coins. Now when we say crown sized coins, what do we mean? Um, well actually this is a crown, this is from South Africa and uh, if we look it's actually five shillings uh, which is the equivalent of a crown. Uh, the crown is the English, the, the UK um, five shilling piece, uh, one of the most recognizable old large silver coins. So when we're saying uh, the world silver coins, the crown size, that's what we're talking about. These rather large um, coins, they can be from around the world, but uh, they tend to be about this size. So recognizable ones would be it's like the Morgan dollar or peace dollars from America, uh, as I said, the crown, or even something like the Canadian dollar as well. It just about fits into that category. It's probably on the smaller size, but uh, just about for me, would I would put into that category. So what I have here today, as I said, is over one and a half kilos. I bought from my friend in Italy, who I've been buying off now for over a year. And uh, it's been a great relationship, something I'm very happy to have uh, maintained and still be purchasing from today. Um, as you see, this is the selection I got from him. I do have here my little um, silver slide, my little silver tester, um, because I... I used it for this purchase. You know, I said we've got here something like 60, 70 coins in total. Um, so, you know, it was a real treat to just be able to get them, put them on the slide uh, and test them to give them that just general quick test. Make sure that, you know, I mean, I know that he wouldn't slip any in, but maybe one or two had slipped past him. And that's what I'm always checking, you know, because I totally have faith in him as a seller. Um, but you never know, you know, when you're dealing with a lot of coins, it, it can be too easy for just one fake to make its way in. So that's why I do test everything. And uh, look, I'm going to leave a link up here now for the video where I made this because I really do think it is such a vital tool, especially when you're making purchases like this, like really big purchases. So look, let's get into it. What did I actually pick up here? Um, so first of all, they are all circulated coins. None of these are NIFCs, not intended for circulations. They are all coins that would have been in people's pockets back in the day. And uh, well, let's start off with this one here. This is a real beauty. The Canadian 1967 $1 piece. Now, this I don't have actually in my collection yet. So this is one I got specifically just one of to stick into the collection. Uh, this coin here is celebrating what 100 years of Canada actually. So um, yeah, it's a very iconic coin, uh, really beautiful. And I'm very happy to be adding that one to my collection. Um, I'm going to put the details of all these coins, you know, their weight and mint years and things like that are up on the screen. So, uh, but yeah, as I said, it's uh, of all the Canadian designs uh, of the dollar coins, this one, I don't know, maybe I prefer the uh, totem pole sort of one, uh, the sort of tiki, but uh, this is also a stunning design. Very simple, but really beautiful. So that's just one of those. Um, then I did get a peace dollar. So here we have a 1923 peace dollar. Not in, you know, it's in pretty pretty beat up condition. Uh, it's just, it's been circulated, so it's nothing special. Um, but it's in reasonable condition, nice details. I don't think it's been cleaned by the look of it, um, which is always a bonus. Um, so yeah, so that's a nice piece dollar there from 23. Then we have two Morgan dollars. The first one here from 1921. Uh, it's pretty worn. Uh, this one's, you know, this has been used pretty well. And, uh, but I do love that obverse design here. So the reverse design on, on the Morgan dollars. I love this eagle motif. And uh, I'm just looking now for a mint mark. And I can see just there the little S above the D and O. So I'm guessing that's San Francisco. So I'm not, I'm not the most clued up on these sorts of things. So I'm pretty sure that's San Francisco mint. And then we have another one here. This is an 1888. And this is actually in really nice condition. Uh, it hasn't been cleaned. I've had a little look at this. It hasn't been cleaned, but it is circulated, but in uh, nice condition. And uh, looking at this one for a mint mark, which I don't see on this one. 
and uh and is it is it if it doesn't have a, a mint mark it's philadelphia i believe um, but i'll check all that out and i might actually stick that down uh, on the screen now so that's the american coins and canadians then i did get two of these five shilling pieces from south africa uh, these are from 1948 both of them i believe uh, yeah both from 1948 and uh yeah again i really like these coins and there we have george the fifth no the sixth sorry um so yeah so that's those coins there then so this pile here these are all the same and um, these are five lira from italy and uh this is 1877 so i have eight of them here and they all range from 1970 to 77 the ones i have in hand and uh yeah there we have the reverse design of the five lira i've had a few of these through my hands before and they're lovely coins again you know being being over a hundred and what's that 30 odd years 130 years 140 years old uh they're in actually very nice condition and uh yeah always good to, to get some of these so that was eight of those i ended up getting um then we have five i'm gonna get one out of the case here because i do like these coins a lot so we have five of these 10 franc coins here so this is french and uh we can see this one from 1965 and uh yeah these are lovely coins again this is about uh, okay a little bit bigger than the canadian dollar um, but not quite as big as a morgan and uh yeah there we have the liberty equality and fraternity and uh yeah, it's a lovely image. And then we have that lovely edge details there with all the different symbols and shapes. Um, I like that one there. Look, it looks like, uh, I mean, it looks like the sign for Libra, you know, like some scales. Hmm, they're actually very interesting. I might take a closer look at these off camera. Now that one there, isn't that the symbol for like the medics? Like, yeah, like the double snake symbol. Well, that's really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna, that's like a sheath of wheat. There's a cockerel there. That looks like a bunch of grapes. Ooh, okay, all right. I'm going to definitely do a little bit more research off camera um, into those little side details there. Um, that's really interesting. But yeah, lovely coin. That was five of those there. And then I got of these bad boys. So these are actually the same image, but this is uh, the 50 franc coin, which came out a few years later. So I'll put the mintage dates of the 10 franc up and the 50 franc, because I believe like the 10 franc was running, because if you look, they actually are the same design and very similar size coins. Um, so what it was is the, the 10 franc was minted up until... Let's just look here till 73. That's right. And then from 1974, um, the 50 franc design. So I think that's what they did to hopefully not get it so confused. But I bet there was a few years where people were giving out the 50s as 10s. But yeah, really beautiful design coins. And let's just check out the edge detailing here on this. So yeah, again, we have these lovely details. I mean, that looks like a little hammer to me. Um, I don't know what that could be, but uh, there we have a pair of compasses. Again, that sort of Libra scale. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting iconography on the side there. Um, definitely worth investigating a bit further. So yeah, so as I said, of these 50 francs, um, I got 
36 of them. So uh, that was over a kilo of just these uh, 50 franc coins. So yeah, really lovely, lovely purchase. I'm very happy with them. I don't have a 50. I don't have the 10 and I don't have the goose. So those three coins will be going into my collection and the rest goes into my stack. So look guys, I'm, I think it's a lovely purchase. Um, price wise, what did I pay? I paid pretty much spot on the 50 francs to five francs and the, um, the, sorry, the 50 francs to 10 francs and the five shillings and then and and the and the canadian dollar and i paid a little bit more um you know maybe 10 10 15 percent over spot for the five liras and the american dollars so i think all in all was a really good purchase uh, there's some lovely coins there and uh, really happy to be adding them to my stack so look guys thank you so much if you have been watching again if you didn't see the video and you don't already own a magnetic slide i and you are a silver stacker or collector i do highly recommend either purchasing one or making one yourself um, and again you know you can check out the link to the video from earlier so look thank you very much if you've been watching i hope you enjoyed it you all have a lovely day take care and bye bye